Hello friends, welcome to Quick Glance videos. Today we will discuss about classification of stem. This is divided into three parts because as the topic is uh, long, we are divided into three parts. The first part will cover the forms. The second and third part will co cover the branching. Will cover uh, classification on the base of buds, on the base of duration, on the base of texture, shape and surface so these are covered in three parts in this part we will cover on the base of forms the stem if you define the stem the stem is the ascending portion of the axis ascending portion of the axis of the plant which develops from the plumule serves as a support for the leaves flower and fruit it forms a support for leaves flower and fruit so any plant is there, there will be roots, there will be leaves and there will be flowers. So this stem forms the support for all these things. Transportation of food materials, minerals from the root to the leaves, from the root to the leaves and conducting manufactured food from leaves to other parts. It has nodes, internodes, hairy growth etc. So this forms the brief explanation of what is stem. So there are different forms of stems are there. First is aerial stem. Stem remains outside the surface of the soil. Erect stem, solid stem. Grows straight upwards without any support above the soil surface. So this is solid. Grows straight. Weak stem. We will cover in uh, detail the weak stem. Incapable of growing straight upwards and climbs with the help of support. The main thing is the weak stem needs support to grow up and grow and uh, move forward. Reduced stem, reduced to small remnants. So it's a reduced form of stem. Underground modified stems, modified to store foods. So these stems are modified to store food. Certain function is associated with them. So in the form of the weak stem, the weak stem we can divide into climbers, tweeners, trailers. In climbers, they climb, they climb with the assistance of tendrils, hooks, spines and prickles etc for example pea passion flower wine for example this is rose so it has uh, thorns to go up the tendrils so it needs a support to grow a climb maybe a tweener or trailer so the weak stem climbers the climbers are divided into four categories the tweeners or can also called stem climbers tendril climbers road climbers scramblers adhesive climbers lianes so we'll go in brief of all these uh, climbers with example as well as a pictorial depiction first we'll cover trainers weak stems ascend by coiling around some support so they coil around some support they coil upwards into right anticlock direction that is called sinistros and the left Clockwise direction they call dextrose. So depend upon how they how they coil across that particular support. For example, Ipomia, Clitoria, these are sinistrose type, and Mycania scandens or asparagus species, they're dextrose type of climbers. These are the example. So you can see the sinistrose type and this is dextrose type. So this is clockwise and this is anti-clockwise. The trailers. Trailers are prostrate plant having weak long slender stem which trail along the surface. So which trails around the surface of the soil. So they move in parallel to the surface of soil and do not try to climb up any support. So they move parallel to the surface of the soil and do not try to climb up. These are different from the creepers being single plants which do not root from the nodes. So it do not root from the nodes and thus does not form the daughter plants. So this is different from creepers. This is just for support. It, it, it creates a trailer. For example, Protolacea evolulus. 
Now trailers can be three types. Procumbent type, procumbent type. They lie flat on the and grow prostately on the surface of the soil. So they lay, lie flat and they go on the surface of the soil. The example is basilla. So this is the plant, basilla plant, procumbent type of trailers. Second is decumbent type trailers. When the trailing stem tends to rise at the apex, that means it's is prostrately going and after some time it goes up. So this is decumbent type of trailer. The example is Protelacea or Lidenbergia. The third type of trailer is diffuse trailer. When branches of the trailer grow profusely in all directions, it's not in one direction, it goes in all direction. The example Bhavya, Punarnava, also called Punarnava. So this goes in, the plant is there, the trailer goes in all direction. It's not restricted to one direction. So this is profusely, it moves. That's called diffuse trailers. The second uh, form of weak stem is the creepers. The creeper plants are herbaceous plants. Herbaceous plant. The plant themselves are erect, but they give rise to small horizontal branches which are weak. After going some length, they get rooted and give rise to small daughter plants and spread. So we have already seen in previous videos the runners, stolons, offsets, suckers. These are creepers. They give rise to a daughter plant. So you can see the example of strawberry, oxalis or sweet potato. These are the runners. So after some time they give the adventitious roots and they go into a daughter plant. So yeah, stolon, offset, suckers. So mostly found in strawberry and sweet potato. Now the third form is the tendril climbers. Now this climbers, the climbing of tendrils Tendril climber is affected by specialized climbing organs. These are called tendrils. The tendrils which help the plant and support the plant to climb, which are sensitive and capable of growing spirally and encircling a support when it comes in contact with. So when it when, when a tendril comes in support to say some this is a plant, tendril comes in support, it has it is sensitive into coil and climb up. So the tendrils are different types of modifications are there. So in tendrils modified axillary stem, if the axillary stem is modified to form a tendril, for example in passion fruit, the stem apex is modified in case of vitis species, leaf is modified in case of wild pea, leaflet is modified to form a tendril is in case of pea, pedule in case of clementis, Leaf tip is modified in, in case of Glorosia, Glorosa. Then the stipule is modified in the case of Smilex. Modified influence axis, Antigonon. Modified rootless, Bignone HCSC family. So these are the examples of the modified tendrils. So you can keep in mind one example and what the what is the modification. That is enough. So this is the various forms of uh, tendril climbers with uh, pictures. So this is auxiliary type, apical bud, the leaf, the leaflet, the leaf petiole, the leaf apex, the stipule, the inflorescence, and this is the cucurbitaceae type which encircles the support. This is encircling of support. The other form of wheat, uh, weak stem is root climbers. These plants give out advantageous root from the nodes which acts as a hold fast in fastening the climbing to the support. For example is the paper beetle or beetle vine. So this is a very common example. So as it clings towards the uh, support plant it gives roots, advantageous root and it acts as a root climber. So these are the root also, it acts as a climber also. 
another form of weak stem is scramblers now a number of weak plants do not actually climb but grow slowly grow over the other bushes and rest over there so they don't climb but if there is a lot of bushes are there they just lie there and with the help of hooks they keep attached without moving they are helped in retaining this position by means of superficial outgrowth by nature of prickles so they retain the position on the bush if there is a big bush they will just climb on the on that particular bush and retain the space and keep on growing these are called scramblers now scramblers can be different type for example curved prickles so the prickles which which each holds the bushes or any support can be different types like curved prickles in rows prickles on leaves in case of cane curved hook on flowering pendules pendules arbutus prickles on stem lantana spiny stipules after leaf sheds is zizifus so this is one one example for different types of scramblers uh, or different types of prickles in the scramblers prickles in the stem so you can see the picture for this in case of rose in case of cane you have pedensil lantana and stipule so this is stipule converted into as a hook you have in case of lantana on the stem so it's on the stem so these are the pictures of that another type of weak stem is adhesive climbers the extreme modification where they are provided with organs that serve as adhesive disc which may adhere to the flat surface so they have disc which adheres to the flat surface which helps them to climb up you must have seen in certain um, compounds or buildings where they put this type of plants which climbs up uh, uh, act as adhesive on the surface of the wall these plants may even grow along the flat walls example ampelosis of vertacea ficus species ficus repens these are the example for adhesive climbers so this is the picture for this we can understand better so this is a wall and it climbs with the help of adhesive disc so this is the adhesive disc the other form of weak climber is lianes the type of perennial climbers that are found in deep forest the plants at first grow like ordinary twiners twiners growing up with the all tall trees once the top leaves have reached the sunlight the weak stem becomes a strong stouter until it becomes a woody almost like a slender tree so it's mostly found in dense forest where the plants grow up till it receives the sunlight then the um, after reaching getting the sunlight they become stronger stouter and becomes almost a woody form so this type of examples are hiptage bengalensis tinospora species of bohemia so these are small example you can keep in mind for lianes type now other forms of stem is reduced stem the stem is reduced to extreme small remnant persisting on upper end of the root so in case of carrot turnip so this for the this is the reduced stem so it's a extremely it's like a disc form underground modified stem some 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 modified to store food these are the main function is storing food these are usually underground structure for example rhizomes gingers in ginger tubers of potato combs of aroids so these are the stem which are modified to store food also just to summarize what all things we have just gone through so the forms of stem that can be divided into aerial then you have erect then you have weak stem reduced and 
modified underground modified underground here the main uh, bifurcation is on the weak stems so we have climbers tweeners we have trailers we have studied each with example and pictures so you can remember that creepers now trailer is three types procumbent decumbent and diffusion type same way you have climbers we have many types of climbers we'll not go in detail because we are only covered in details we have tendrils we have roots scramblers adhesive gambers and lianes so this way you can uh, create a chart with examples of uh, uh, under each head you can have an example so that you can remember uh, for example reduced stem you have carrot you can write here carrot or turnip or you have uh, peas in case of uh, tendrils so you can write all this and you can create a chart to re better remember the complete forms of stem so in this uh, uh, video we have covered the forms of stem in the next part 2 because it's divided into three parts we will study about the modification of the stem classification on the basis of modification and branching this will be covered in the next videos thank you and keep us and and please click on the subscribe as well as notification bell icon this will help you to get all the videos which is latest updated by this channel thank you